welcome back to Malachi Gaming and Talk, and today I will be talking about the new movie coming out in uh, sometime in 2022, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Not to be confused with Super Dragon Ball Heroes, which is a completely different thing based off of the arcade game. However, let's get started. And and I know I'm a bit late to this. This news came out several hours ago, so I don't get as much like algorithm candy like everyone else did when they saw it at the Comic-Con live stream. Because I was working on my earlier video today, not the the AMC video. I was working on the Dragon Ball video because I saw a comment where one of my viewers was like, hey, how come Granola had to use his like aim assist? And I break it down there. And uh, I'll link to it in the pinned comment down below. Now, back to, let's get on to the movie. They have released the concept art already. And first off, let's talk about this. This is from the trailer. Let's not get talky dust in my eye. That would be bad. <laughs> but uh, this is from the trailer. It's CGI Goku. A lot of us, including myself, are like, please don't be CGI. Don't be heavy-handed with CGI because, as George Lucas learned, there is too much. Uh, there is such thing as too much CGI. I'm not reshooting this video because this is like my fifth time. But, anywho. Uh, but, very quickly, we got our concerns dispersed. Because if you look right here, um, Piccolo is in the more, uh, not traditional, but digital animation. You see that he's in his normal... Like walking around or flying around in this sense, um, costume, which is just him and his gi with the weighted clothes on and his weighted turban, and you will. S and I guess they're saying he's going to be fighting because look down below, you see that he's got all the weight off and he's serious. Oh, well, he's always serious, but. He is the son of Demon King Piccolo. Now, this is what got people, uh, like, surprised. Because we were like, oh, it's going to be a bit of a time skip. Now, she doesn't look as old as she did in uh, At the End of Z. She looks more like a toddler, so this might be either at the end of Z or just before it. Now... It's great seeing them doing more pan stuff because if you're a fan of GT, and I know you can hear the pitchforks, calm down. But anyway, first half of GT was kind of weird. Second half, I was the part that everybody liked, but I, I liked it. Had some weird moments though. But back to pan. Now, is she gonna have something like Gohan did, where he's, like, uh, got a bunch of potential because they hinted earlier in the series when she was flying around that she has a lot of potential? Or is she gonna be captured like Gohan? But more importantly, Everyone is asking, are they finally going to age up Gohan? I mean, Goten and Trunks like they are supposed to because Trunks is like the age that he was in the movie where they show what happened to future Trunks. Future Trunks looked like a teenager as a teenager. He, but this current timelines, Trunks and Goten are still kind of in that like kid form like Goku was. And that's a little weird. And they obviously did it for merchandise reasons, but hopefully they'll age him up. 
but I'll have a serious problem if it's near the end of Z and they're not aged up to what they kind of look like in the end of Z. But here's Krillin again in his day job. He's a police officer for, um, what is the city called? Someone comment down below what the city's called. But he's a working man. Retired from saving the world and getting blown up by Frieza. He is now a traffic cop. But and he did more than just traffic stops. He stopped a bank robbery. So, gotta give him credit for that. And here is what I was... I was really surprised to see it, this whenever I pulled up this article earlier. Um, this is Piccolo's house. We... We get to see that he's not living at the lookout all the time. Because that's kind of what we assumed after he, like, became good. That he went on the lookout or just camped in the mountains. Which, I guess he decided to finally get out of the rain. And he has a Namekian-style house right by a lake. Nice location. It's... That's pretty nice. Now, this guy. Is he gonna be the villain? You see, he has a blaster right there. And there's one of them that says one, and there's another one that says two. So, and, and the, oh, I didn't notice that earlier. They have different little horns. So, are they superheroes? That are going to get the wrong impression of the Saiyans. Because the Saiyans reputation. Because that's a common theme in Dragon Ball. Or are they going to be like Frost and they'll be heroes that are actually villains. Or are they going to be straight up villains and we're going to see uh, Go uh, not Goten, Gohan be great Saiyan again. Who knows? They might try to cash in on that, and I'm not sure if that will get a lot of Dragon Ball fans excited, because, uh, yes, it's something different, but the Great Saiyan thing, a lot of people back then, a lot of the newer fans, also think that the Great Saiyan is kind of cringe, but... There are people that like the Great Saiyan thing. And Gohan is back to his old strength. He's actually taking things seriously. So maybe they'll turn it into like <coughs> Gohan getting like, I don't know, getting ready to accept the mantle after Goku dies. Who knows? Anyway. I'll wrap this up right here. If you like my content, press the like button and share it out to your favorite uh, social media platform. If you so kindly want to support me, as my channel is too small to be monetized, and, and uh, yeah, with how YouTube is once again censoring channels, and I'm still working out the Twitch thing. Who knows? Who knows might happen in the future. But, if you want to support my channel, the links to my uh, PayPal and Patreon will be down below. Anywho, this has been Malachi Gaming and Talk, talking about the new Dragon Ball Super movie. Dragon Ball Super, Super Heroes, coming out in 2022. Everybody, I wish you an, a nice day. And see you later.